Okay, here's an update on the carnage. So, as you can see, things have progressed here. The old crank is in the uh, in the bottom shelf because we don't need it, as long, along with a pile of uh, con rods. And we have had a new second-hand crank, which we're just plastic aging up now. That's all within spec, so new shell bearings all the way around three new con rods new bolts for con rods new wrist pins uh there's the old pump there's my new pump um and gaskets galore uh these have been out and had a, a real good run through the parts washer through the uh the two um crank cases and i've started building up this up the select forks on that already uh, I don't want to build up any more until I was sure about the shell bearing selection. So I used the manual which I found online and measured the internals, measured the uh, the conrod, uh, sorry, measured the crank with a micrometer and I measured the um, the block using an internal bore gauge to come up with the right shell selection. Yes, so parts arrived, parts were sourced by from Woods Motorcycles in um, North Wales. Uh, they were very helpful. Yeah, I was impressed with them, actually. Um, all came in next day, or even the most, what I thought was going to be complex of engine parts, still next day delivery. Yeah, really, really good service. So, pleased with this, happy enough. I haven't checked the Conrod shell bearing selection yet with the plastic gauge uh, I, I could just be happy with my own measurements but I'm not so I am going to check it um, yeah that's um, that's about it as for everything else yeah you can see the bike still sat here I haven't really looked at it or touched it I put the tank back on because it was in the way um, haven't really touched anything else since it's been apart and I won't really look at it until it goes back together. There's a few bits on the side cover and a few bits there. Um, but she's a good looking bike, isn't she? Really nice. Looking forward to uh, having a spin. Uh, that hasn't moved. Oh, poor job. It always seems to be bottom of the pile. I will. I'll pull them forks off in the next two weeks, I promise. Um, and the Kawasaki... Again, looking very sorry for itself. All needs pulling apart and taking for a good wash. So this was a, a 220, which I acquired with a, um, a bottom end problem. Seems to be a run on bottom end problems at the problem at the moment. Anyway, um, had a real job sourcing parts for this. Ended up getting them genuine, getting a genuine Conrod kit from Kawasaki. That has taken four weeks to turn up. So that was dispatched from the Kawasaki dealer to the company I use for uh, engineering jobs. Um, they've dispatched that direct, so I'll get a phone call from them next week when that's ready to collect. So in the meantime, I need to clear the bench back up. So I need to get this um, back together. So all being well, these shell bearings are right. I will test out the Conrod big end shell bearings tonight tomorrow and if that's good then gearbox can go back in um we'll lubricate it all up we'll put the uh put the crank case back together and then uh, start building which i'm quite excited about so um yeah that's what's uh, that's what's going on um hope you're enjoying the updates if uh, again any questions comments um, tell me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what you like, what you don't like. It'd be interesting to hear. Well done. Thank you very much.